Well, I'm Kairos Time. <laughs> um, and I am a YouTuber. <laughs> It's actually really funny to tell people that in person because they're like, you're a YouTuber? Like what? Like, who is this, who's this loser that doesn't know what to do with his life? I grew up in southeastern Idaho in uh, a little place called Pocatello. Family of nine, actually, we all grew up playing instruments. We all sing. Uh, we were all actors and did musicals and things like that. You know, I just, I just grew up as a regular kid, just having fun with my family and with some friends, you know, and I still am a regular person now. It's just what I do is something that a lot of people wish that they could do, and I'm kind of living that dream, and it's, it's really exciting. I thought that I wanted to do something in the health field. I went to four years of school for, for college, um, and then I was going to do another three years to get my doctorate of physical therapy, but I actually only did one, I had a month between my internship and when I would start school up again. And at that point, I put everything into YouTube. And that was my taste of what it would be like to be a full-time YouTuber. And I remember coming back and going to school that one day after one month of living my dream, I remember sitting in the back of my classroom with this empty feeling of like anxiety and nervousness uh, and just thinking, this is not what I want to do. I don't want to do this. And I came back home after class that day and my wife actually, she saw me and she saw the look on my face and she said, let's make your dream a reality and dropped out of school, put everything into creating YouTube videos for Brawl Stars. It is now the beginning of February in 2019, so essentially two months later and my channel has tripled in size and I'm at 150,000 subscribers and I, I can't believe it. I really cannot believe it. And it's at this point now where I know uh, that this dream job that I have, have always wanted to do has finally come to become a reality where this can be something that I can actually support my family on and live the best of both worlds. It's really close to the one that I it's a, it's a mini grand white piano. It looks very similar to the one that's actually that my parents have at home that I learned how to play the piano on. Oh, wow. <laughs> Do you want to play? No, I'm, good I'm after, good. After. <laughs> a lot of times that I tell people that I, I create videos for YouTube, they will ask me like, well, what do you do? And I'm like, oh, I do actually video games. And they're like, oh, so you're, you play video games for a living. And I'm like, well, I am an entertainer. I am a video editor. I am a graphic designer. These are all the things that goes into my career. And what's the medium? The medium is video games. That's the thing that I'm passionate about. That's what brings it all together. But really, I'm in the entertainment business. Hello and welcome to Brawl News. Today's first story is a story on the first ever Brawl Stars Olympics, more commonly known as... Really? Really, Jerry? You, you want me to say that? More commonly known as the Brawl Olympics. Covering the story, we have our chief brawl analyst, or brawlnalist. Jerry, seriously, what is up with you? Typically, on a really popular video, let's say I'm doing a brawler guide, I will spend maybe even four hours writing a script, then I will take about an hour to record gameplay, then go and record myself talk, and then I'll edit that video. Then there's all the random stuff in between, so like social media, responding to comments. So 13 hours to actually go into a brawler guide video that is 12 minutes long. It's been getting a little hard for balancing that work-life balance, but I love the process. I love it all, it's super fun. I don't know about you, but I'm definitely going to be subscribing and hitting the notification bell so I do not miss any more of Brawl Stars Olympics. My most trending videos are my Brawl Olympics series, where I take every brawler and I actually compare them in regards to one stat. So whether that's range, or that is damage per second, or something like that. 
Um, and they, they offer a lot of entertainment, but it's also one of those types of things where people watch because they're curious about which brawlers are the best or worst in a, in a given area. And it, it's unfortunate that sometimes my least trendy videos are the ones that actually have some of the most entertainment value where they're just really fun to watch, they're, they get you laughing. Uh, like some of my collaborations with Lex, sometimes we'll have those trend really well because people can connect with that friendship. Hello fellow brawlers, I'm <laughs> Kyra Syme, and if my face is... <laughs> Looks like it's in pain. It's because I've been laughing so hard over on Lex's channel. We're doing something that nobody's done before. We're we're <laughs> we're playing the bad the bad dad jokes game. Um, I've always wanted to make a difference in in the world some way, um, and I thought that was going to be through helping people physically with health. Um, but I I almost feel a sense of duty to continue doing YouTube because of my now ability to actually positively impact people's lives. There, there's so much media and content out there in the world that just isn't uplifting, that doesn't encourage good morals, and, and a, lot of, a lot of content creators or video game YouTubers that rage and get angry and frustrated and I want to be that influence where people can actually see that, hey, yeah, I can play games and I can love it, and although sometimes things are a little frustrating, that doesn't mean that I have to rage out or um, I want to positively impact people. One thing that I want to talk about is just how incredibly thankful I am for my wife for actually helping support a lot of this. This has not been easy for her. Not in the fact that she's not happy with it, she's very happy with it, but it's, been, it's taken a lot of time for us to get to the point where we're at. And she's been so incredibly supportive of me doing the things that I love, but also taking care of my daughters not spending as much time as she would like to with me and as much time as I would like to spend with her in order to make this dream work out. And now that we're there, uh, she's super excited and I just, I couldn't thank her enough for all the support that she's done for me. Without Lady Kairos, there would be no Kairos time and I would not be here now. We got Kairos time, we got Lady Kairos, we got Kid Kairos, and then we got Baby Kairos. <laughs> awesome. And this guy? The Spagelatins. <laughs> the Spagelatins. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> Fair enough. I mean, if my kids wanted to become YouTubers, I would absolutely support that dream because not only am I living my dream and I'm having a blast doing it, but I'm actually making a better living now than I could have starting as a brand new physical therapist with a doctorate. Seven years of post high school education and it's a... Uh, it's amazing, I'm living my dream and I'm able to support my family doing it in an incredible way. If I could get anything across to anybody that's, that knows my story or has learned from my story, and that, that would be, <laughs> if you have a dream, you should try to live that dream. Do whatever it takes to make it happen because there is a huge difference between living how you should be doing or the way that things that people tell you you should be doing and living something that you're actually passionate about and that's what I'm doing now and it is incredible the sense of satisfaction that comes from that. <laughs>